Good afternoon, everybody. This is Anita Hanford with Artistically Yours Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator for another session of Tuesdays at 2. Although today it is Monday at 2.15. Um, my husband has an appointment tomorrow that I need to take him to in the afternoon, so I'm not going to be home. So I thought I would do a video ahead of time, and then it will post tomorrow at 2 as normal. And it'll be just like I'm here. So if you get a chance, let me know that you watched it and what you thought. And if you have similar stamps, oops, I guess I should have shut the door. Um, if I have similar stamps, if you have similar stamps, maybe you can make a card like Elizabeth Grant does and post it below. And then we can see how you did. So what, just one um, message. And that is that the DSP sale is going on right now, 15% off on a lot of the DSP that is in the catalog. So be sure to go to stampinup.com and check it out. And um, that's good through the end of the month, I believe. So today what we're going to do is, first of all, my stamp and seal is empty. So... I have a refill. I've never refilled it before, but I thought, what a better time to do it than right now with you here, and then we can see how to do it together. So I'm going to flip you down, and <clears throat> all right, so the directions on the back say, um, pull the case apart from the notch using both hands. There, that was super, super easy. So. Then, whoops, this piece apparently comes right out and can be thrown away. So let's get out the new one. So it's a little different than the snail, but the snail you threw away half, you threw away one of these too. So apparently that's not the way that this one works. So I already cut this. I might not be able to still break into it. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so that's the way this works. You don't have to throw away half the container. You're just you're just refilling what's here. So let's see. Oh, I guess I should put it on the side that has the... Hmm. There we go. I think if I lined up those things... See, it's got these little X's. And this part fits right in there. The little X's. So let's line that up again. Put it in and then we're going to put the cover back on. And that is how easy that is folks. So good. Now I've done it and thank you for helping me. What we're going to do today is use tasteful touches. And I thought I would try to use a couple fall colors, fallish, um, since it's so beautiful right now. So I've got Mango Melody. This is going to be a five and a five and a half by four and a quarter. I've already scored it so now I'm just going to line it up here and use my bone folder. And then I've got little scraps of terracotta tile and Whisper White. So what we're going to do is use the mango melody I yeah mango melody I keep thinking I'm calling it by the wrong name I don't know why okay and we're gonna use just saying hello so what I'm gonna do first is just center this and that's that now we're gonna I'm gonna leave that open because I'm gonna use it in a sec and now I'm gonna bring the big shot over <clears throat> All right, and what we're going to do is cut this out using these label dies. And they are the ones that, I believe, if they're even the ones that coordinate with Tasteful Touches. Yeah, they are. They're the Tasteful Labels dies. So they're meant to work together. All right, so I'm going to just move this a little bit because I'm also going to cut out a piece of the terracotta tile with this bigger label. So 
except the magnet is slipping. I heard that the new magnet, magnetic plate, is really awesome for this. Okay, so let me just swing this through. Okay, there's that. And there's that. Let me move this back out of the way. <clears throat> now we're going to take our Mango Melody piece again. And I think I'm going to do this backwards of the way that I did it when I made my sample card. So I'm going to use this little piece. Somehow I feel like we're not in a good place here so that I can see and you can see. Okay, so we're going to use Mango Melody with these little squares. And I love that you can do that. You can just kind of use the same color. And it kind of is not really bright. It's kind of subtle. But it's so cute. I'm just going to, you know, switch them up a little bit. Not be too particular in the middle because that's going to be covered with the labels that we just cut out. All right, and now I'm going to take the terracotta tile. Let's shut this up because we're done with it for now. And the terracotta tile, I'm going to use this leaf or leaf leaves. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go. around. Let me see if I want to do the whole thing or just leave it at that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go around some more. <clears throat> okay. So can you see how that Mango Melody dried on there? It's just slightly darker. You can get a similar effect using Versamark. And Versamark works with most any, or with any color that you want. But if you want that sort of an effect, you just use the same color ink pad on your cardstock. <clears throat> okay, so let's get this started. We're going to have to get it going a little bit because we have not used this yet. All right, and I'm going to put this right hmm, you know what? I'm going to peel that back off. I'm going to put a couple more of these terracotta tile flowers so they extend to the edge of the card a little more. That's what card making is all about. You just kind of wing it. If you don't like it, you try something else. There, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? I'm going to show you the other card that I made first as my sample in a few minutes when we're done here. So I'm going to use dimensionals. And again, I don't waste dimensionals. So when I have what's the little bit that's left, I use them. Oops, I need a little, little piece here. And I just use the little edge pieces because I don't like to waste them. And they're the same thing. They're just not shaped like the uh, other ones, the hexagon. Okay, one more. <clears throat> Okay, and we're going to stick that on, and then I've got a couple of rhinestones that I, or the, yeah, the Jewel Basic rhinestones, and I thought that I would put a couple of them up here in this corner, and I'll give you a confession in a minute. <laughs> okay. And there we have the simple card for today. What do you think? 
So this was the initial one, the first one that I made, and I thought that the terracotta tile just kind of overwhelmed everything else. So I thought I would make it a little more subtle, and just switch them around. And my confession is that on this card, I goobered a little bit of terracotta tile by under one of these rhinestones, which is what made me want to put the rhinestones on to begin with. So that's a good hint for you too. If you have issues like I sometimes do with being a little sloppy, you can embellish and just kind of make it disappear. So there you go. There is the card for today or are the cards for today. And again, that was using Tasteful Touches, which I love so much about this stamp set. I love the sentiments and there's so many, like the feathers we did a little while ago. We've also done this flower. So there's lots of nice, cool things about this stamp set. And today we use the terracotta tile and the melon, see, melon mambo. That's not melon mambo, mango melody. Melon mambo is actually a, like a pinkish color, hot pink. So anyhow, that's it for today, folks. So I will see you next week, Tuesday at 2, and things should be back on schedule, I hope. So have a great Tuesday, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.